You have to marry people because you know why I have to speak about money management? Because the Bible teaches about money management. The Bible teaches about certain people in the Bible like Joseph. So like the story of Joseph. And Joseph in the Bible that when he got sold by his brothers into slavery and he got sold into Egypt. Understand? That was money management. Money management was needed in order for the Egyptians, in order for Joseph to aid the Egyptians, to aid them to overcome and endure the famine in the world, to endure the famine. Mm -hmm. Money management. And people want to be rich. A lot of people want to be rich. A lot of people want to be rich. A lot of people want to be rich. Mm -hmm. The secret to being rich is not making a lot of money. A lot of people think if they make a lot of money, they'll be rich. No. When you make a lot of money, it just shows that you have a flow of money. You have a flow of money. You have a constant flow of money. When you are making money, it shows that you have created, you have tapped into the money flow. Because money has a wow in business. Money has a wow. It flows to every business. Every business is connected. Every business is connected. Don't you understand? All businesses need the government to regulate. You understand? The restaurant business need the plumbing business which the plumbers are the ones that do eat you understand the plumbing business need the restaurant business because the restaurant has restaurants and they might have water and plums and pipes that they need a plumber to fix you understand so money management is very very very, 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 very important. But people are not aware that they need money management. People are not, a, people are so focused on on making money that they forget to manage the money that they're making. See, that's why I tell people, like, in actuality, right, do you know, like, the average person, like, you, the average person, you, me, we run through a lot of money a year. We spend a lot of money, man. We spend a lot of money. And you ask me, how do we spend the money? All the money, okay, let me ask you a question. Even a person that don't have a job, the, the food you buy, because you need money to buy food, your clothes, understand? Your, your money for transportation, they use for transport. Where did you put gas in your car? Where did you get a ride? Understand? The average person is an average millionaire because you spend a lot of millions. 
And then why the black community is the most spendless and they have the spending power. See, spending power is very powerful because spending power shows, shows what goods are in use or what goods are in demand. See, without spending power, we would not be able to know what part of good and what part of products are bad. Spending powers is what make people rich. So, a lot of people run through a lot of money because a lot of people spend a lot of money. You've seen a lot of people that spend a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are millionaires. You know what I'm saying? but they don't manage their money properly. See, I've been telling people, money management is what creates wealth. Money management is what creates wealth. If you're not able to manage your money properly, you're not going to be able to save and your savings is what you call your wealth Mm -hmm. but in order for you to create savings you have to manage your money properly Money has to be managed properly. You can't say because a person that spends a lot of money cannot say. If you are a spender, you cannot say. Because a person that's always spending cannot say. Even though you may be making money, you still will not be able to save no money because you're constantly spending. I advise people to live their life on a budget. Everybody, if you want to manage your money properly, you need to learn budgeting. Budgeting is a key essential to money management. Everything you do needs to be budgeted. Everything you spend money on needs to be calculated. You need to know the main things you spend money on. Your needs that you spend money on and the things that you don't need that you spend money on, or necessary things that you spend money on. Everybody needs a budget. Well, I'm going to finish this real quick. I got to go get some. So, I budgeting is like you have to budget. Understand? When you budget your money, you 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 know you have a limit on what you spend. You have that see that takes discipline. Understand? Unlimiting what you spend and spending your money on things that will that will bring value. Now I'm not saying don't slurry from time to time, but my rule to splurging is if I can buy it four times, four to five times, 
Because I can't buy it five times. I do not spend unless I need it. If it's something I of need that I need for the moment or something, I spend it. But I spend my money in making money back. That means my money, my extra money will go into my business. Something that will bring me in new revenue. Understand? And I'm not going to buy clothes or this other stuff. Look good. You're supposed to enjoy yourself. Eat and enjoy yourself. But if you're trying to make money, your focus should be investing your money into something that will bring you return. Understand? Not something that is going to be put on. Understand? Clothes, jewelry, those are things that put on. Like, for example, a lot of these rappers, a lot of these musicians, a lot of these comedians, a lot of these YouTube comedians, understand? They make all this money. They're always talking about follow me, follow me, follow me. They need more subscribers. But if you make all this good content, this good music, and you're getting paid off your music, why don't you put that money that you're making off your music into promotion to promote your shit or into YouTube promo to reach more people so more people will watch your videos? But they don't do that because they don't want to spend their own money. Everybody is here to spend their own money. I have a newsflash for people. You have to understand in this world, in the game of business, you have to spend your own money. Understand? Because everybody has to spend their own money. I have to spend my own money. You have to spend your own money. He has to. She has to spend their own money. Understand? And, and, and if anybody give you something, if anybody gives you money, it is a loan. And they will require it back. They will require a percentage of the business or they will require you to pay it back. And they will want a percentage of the business. So, 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 so taking something from somebody is is good if you have leverage. If they're not wanting a lot back from you, understand? If they're not wanting a lot, then it's good. But if they wanting a lot, then that is a bad trade. I rather just spend my own money, but it's just going to be longer because you don't have the funds. You got to understand. Money is what make a lot of things run in business. Understand? And how do you push your stuff in business? Through promotion and marketing. Understand? Promotion and marketing. That is the place where people will spend the most money. You spend all your money in promotion. And promotion is not a one-time thing. Promotion is not a thing that once you reach a lot of people, you got a lot of customers, you stop. Promotion is a never-ending thing. You have to continue promoting your business forever. If you want to run your business forever, you have to keep promoting your business forever to keep reaching new fans. Because you got to understand, every generation passes and a new generation comes. And new people, you, you you may you always find new people or new customers that don't know nothing about your business because there are new children being born every day. A new child is being born just like every day. An old person or somebody dies. Do you understand? So you always got to promote that person because you have always a chance to reach new customers because of the new young generation coming. And also you have a potential to, to reach new, also new older customers because you might reach customers in different regions they haven't heard about your business so that's why promotion is very very necessary understand now but you had to put this money up a lot of people see a lot of people a lot of people that take deals from from investors or or investors or loans and business is because they want to put it into promotion to market the brand. Understand? But like I said, if you manage your money properly,
But like I said, if you manage your money properly, you can save your money. Understand? The only way you save your money is when you budget your money. Understand? When you budget, you live by a budget. That means this is what you spend a day. I, I don't spend over this. This is why you have to know what you make for YouTube to, to and, and for you to be able to budget. You have to even know what you make. You got to know your spending. You got to know what you spend a day. So you got to add up. You, if, you, if you're always taking Lyft and cab and stuff, so you got to add up how many times you take Lyft and cab a day, every day, and where you go to. If you take this to work, then you got to add it up for that, and you got to see how much you spend on that. If you keep on, if you, if you spend a $120 on, on rides a week, then you put $120 to the side. You see? So if you have $500 and you have, you, you see, you build it like 300 you have gas, transportation, you have milk here, you have light here, then, then you pay those bills, then you have two the 200 left, you see me? To save, then you work on that too, and then you work again, and you save it, you you get another job. And add it up to bring more money in, okay? So you have some more money. But you always got to keep capital coming in. Understand? You can't be like, but like I tell people, like, people always want to be like, oh, shit, I made a million dollars. Shit, man, I can stop working. Oh, shit, I made $10 million. I can stop money and keep working and rest. You got to understand, when the money, money stops flowing, you stop making money. Understand? When the money is flowing, you have to manage the money. That means when you have a business, you have to sell. You have to know your profit. That means you have to know your sales, your profit, your inventory, how much you spend on inventory on goods or, or product you see, for you to sell. Then you have to know how much you make and how much of, of that money will go back into purchasing more products or more inventory and how much of that money will you keep. And how much of that money that you keep will go back into promoting the business or, or funding the business? And how much of that money do you profit and put in your bank to save up? So all this thing deal with money management. You have to manage the flow of money. The money comes, you have to manage it. You, know what I'm you have to manage your inventory, make sure you always have inventory on time, always on point, you never lacking. So you got to make sure you always there. You got to make sure your business is paid, your rent bills are paid, your light is always on. I'm not talking about the light in the business, the internet, you know what I'm saying, the Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm talking about the Wi-Fi. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about it got in the water, you know what I'm saying, for restrooms, you know what I'm saying. I'm not talking about a lot of things that, that the business needs. To keep going, then you have to take control. You see, you have to see how, well, where, where are your overhead? You see, your overhead. You see, you have to know your overhead expense. How much total do you spend? And how much would you make back when you're spending? You have to at least make double back what you spend. If you spend fifteen hundred dollars on bills, fifteen hundred or two thousand bills, then your business should make you four thousand. Understand? Now, when you coming up from the beginning, you have to also manage. You got to also figure out your business. That goes with even managing your money goes with. Managing your customers, you understand? Train your customers, right? Knowing what your customers want, knowing the products your customers are, are interested in buying, and not having the wrong products on the shop where it's going to stay long on the shop and nobody's buying it, and you're not making money. Understand? You have to know the market. You got to know your customers. That's why you have to have that comment open to always ask your customers. What, what what items do they want? What goods do they want? What type of service do they want? Like, what, what type of service do they wish to have and how do they want the service to be? 
You feel me? It's just to get an idea of the customer's mind and see what type of problems the customers have that you can solve. Because sometimes customers complain can lead to you opening up a new service, giving them a new service to solve a problem for them, and that will lead to you making money. See, like I told people, you want to make money, you have to solve problems. The greatest help you can do to people is to solve their problems. That is business. That, but that's what business is for. Business is to solve your problem. A car will pull, a car was created, was invented to solve a problem of transportation. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And you have to manage your wealth. And not, not only are you making that money, you have to invest that money that you're making of your business back into your business. People like to be like, I don't have enough money to buy this. I don't want to spend all my money to buy this new technology or advance. You have to go with the season. You have to advance with technology. You have to uh, adapt to the age. You have to evolve with the age. As technology evolves, you have to evolve too because technology only makes your business easier. Technology only makes running your business easier. See, when you evolve with technology and you make it and you make your company you make your company technology friendly, people want to come in because things will be running way more easy and smoother. And that'll be the last word for you. And all you need is just manpower to just over just supervise the technological programs. Understand? So you have to stand into your business. You have to stand to be on the latest platform. You have to stand to be on the latest, promote yourself on the latest platform. You have to stand in the latest technology to advance yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you run the studio like my home is doing, you have to invest in the, in the latest mic. Understand? You have to invest in the latest you know what I'm saying? Interface, you know what I'm saying? The latest you know, software for recording programs, software program. Understand? You have to in, in, invest. Understand? You have to have top notch equipment. Man, you have to have a good computer that's investing a good computer. This is a thing, this is the equipment that you have to buy. All that is managing your money. Because and people and people when you and people and people stop crying when you invest in your money back into your business somehow. I'm always investing my money into my business. I want you want to make money. If you just want to make money, then then bro, then you're not fit to run a business. A business is not just making money. A business is like a garden. You have to tend to the garden. If you don't tend to the garden properly, the business will run. That's why you have to manage the business because the business is your source of income. It is what's bringing in money. The money, the money is flowing through the business and coming into your hands, and you are making profit. Understand what you keep is the profit. Understand why it's called profit because you profit on that. You double your money. Understand you buy low, you sell high. Because that's how business is. See, that's why I'm trying to tell. Hello. Yes, ma'am. I got you now. Okay, ma'am, I got you. Yes, ma'am. Right. So you have to manage. You have to manage everything with everything you do. Even with your kids, you have to manage your kids. Training your kids is managing your kids. You have to manage everything you do. You have to manage your health. You have to manage your lifestyle. Understand? If you're sick, you have to manage your health. Understand? 
because managing the things that give you wealth will give you abundance, will give you more of it in abundance. But bad management of it, understand, will cause you to have less of it. Understand, management is how you save. When you budget and read, you have to discipline yourself to read by a budget. Or oh, this is what I was spending today. This is what I was spending today. And then you save your money. Up. And then when you manage your money and you save money, save up and you invest in the right things and building your business, investing in your business, investing, promoting, enriching more people, treating people good, all these things are management because you are managing your business and you're running your business rightly. Righteously, so all that will, 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 in time, it will be fruitful and it will blow. You feel me? But people don't manage their business. People just want the money. See, a lot of people just want the money and don't care about the customers. But they want the customers to start shopping. Like customers like, why should I come shop with you? There are a lot of people out here and people gotta understand that just because like that's why I was telling people like 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 like, like bro like if you wanna feel whether you a beat maker, artist too, like me as an artist, like, like bro, I always watch my other artists because like like I always see y'all as competition. I'm sorry, y'all are my competition. And my job is to be the best. Understand? If I want to be known as this that means I have to be top notch. I have to be the best, be the best in everything. When I say my music has to be A1, everything has to be better. Even though I don't have the beat yet, I have to be able to write good music that people is able to understand. That is a product. And when you give them a good product and you get a good beat, you give them a good product, people will always come in and come back. When I say you give them good services, people will always come back. But that's the key making money. You have to make money repeatedly. Money is made repeatedly when people come back and, and shop with you over and over again. Understand? Money is made when people come and shop with you over and over again. Understand? When people come and shop with you over and over again. Yeah, that's how money is made. See, people just shop with you one time. You only made that money one time. I keep telling people. People have to shop with you over and over again. So you got to give them a reason to come back and shop again. Understand? And like I tell people, you don't need a lot of people. You feel that why I tell people, a lot of people want to say, oh man, I need a mean customer. I need a mean people come come to my shop. I need 10,000 people. But bro, have you managed the 500 people that have came to your shop? Have you managed 100 people? Because you could make a lot of money with 100 people coming to spend $100 or $200 at your shop or $300 at your shop. That's 3000 a day. Understand me? You could manage 50 people, 20 people. You have to manage those people. People want a lot of people, but you haven't managed the one you have yet. When you manage that business and manage the customers you have, you, you're content. That's why you have to be content. See, nobody said don't want more. Nobody said don't pray for more. Nobody said don't strive for more. But what we are saying is, no matter what level you're in, if you have 20 customers, then be content with those 20 customers. Then service those 20 customers. Give them the best service. Because those 20 customers will bring 20 more customers. Because if those 20 customers bring one person, you will teach to you, to your business, to, to your business, to encounter your business, that is a new customer. So if 20 people bring one new customer to you, you got 20 new customers. Now you got what forty customers, and now now those forty customers bring another one one apiece. Now you got eighty customers, and those eighty customers bring one apiece. Now you got one hundred and sixty customers. But you gotta understand, 
Word of mouth is the key to all promotion. People referring you. The old saying said, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Now, it's about what you know. Yeah, true. But it's about who you know. You know these customers. These customers have friends. They friends will trust this customer before they trust you. They see you as somebody trying to take their money. But if they, they friend, they call who's also a customer of yours, vouch for you, they will bring bring them to your shop. You will gain the customer. You have gained a customer. That's why I tell you, my friend, you have to put in good work. You have to treat people good. You have to give them good product. You have to give good service. That will bring them back and make them want to tell people about you. That's how you grow your business. It's not trying to promote you. Promote your business. Build brand and win with people aware of your brand. People can still be aware of your brand and still in the shop with your brand. See, there are a lot of brands that people are aware of that, that went out of business. Like Kmart. There's no more Kmart that I know of no more. Kmart was a brand that people was aware of and prosper for a time, and then it went out of business. You don't want to be that brand that go out of business. You want to be that brand that stays in business and your customers will, will be the royalty. You got to get the royalty of your customers. How do you get the royalty of your customers? You got to understand in the game of business, the customer is king. You are the service. You are the service and the customer is king. So please the king. You will see to it that the king is jealous of you. Amen. That the king is delight. Amen. You must please them. Bring them the service that they deserve. Treat them like king. But still consider it and know you are customer. As a boss, as a worker, you are a both server and a boss. Because you are ahead of that business. You run the business, you are the boss, you are the king, but also you are the service. Because you are to serve your customer. You have to get you have to change your perception from being running things, trying to take money to serving people. This is a service. When you do a good service, when you do good service, people want more. Like me, I'm a great teacher. You understand? If I teach people class, people will not come to me by this false man of God. You don't go to this false man of God because they don't give you the great service that you desire. They don't give you the service as a child of God that you desire. They don't give you the word of God like you desire. They don't give you the teachings of the word of God that you desire. So the service that this false prophet are, are supposed to offer you as, as they claim to run a house of God, they are not fully fulfilling that service. You have to fulfill the service that you're claiming to offer or else it's just false advertising. And when you force to buy advertise something, people lose interest and lose trust in you. Understand? Hey, we call it being a man of your word. You have to be a man of your word. You have to do what you say and hear the customers out. You have to take care of your customers. That's why the Bible says you have to tend to the garden. You have to take care of the garden. That is money management. You want to manage the money. You want the money. You can't even manage the business. How can you manage the money? If you can't manage the business that is bringing in the money, how can you manage the money? Then you can't manage the money. Because once the flow of the money stops, you are broke. You have no money. 
And whatever money you have is going to go because you're going to spend it all on your dreams at the moment that you have the money. You cannot just save your money and not spend it on your dreams because you have bills daily that you have to pay to, to meet. You have bills you have to pay to meet to take care of your basic needs. So you need those money. And you will spend it. I'm just being honest with you. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest, my nigga. You get what I'm telling people, man? The Bible says, Why should fools have money in hand to buy wisdom when they are not able to understand it? Why should fools have money to buy wisdom when they cannot understand it? Bible says, you reply, do not extort money and do not pursue your fortune. Be content with your fortune. You have to be content with your fortune. <coughs> <coughs> You're not making good money on that job. Then keep that job till you find another job. When you find another job, then you could transfer and leave that job or you keep both jobs to make more money. But do not quit a job before you find another job. That is stupid as hell. I'm sorry. That is stupid as hell. I'm teaching you as a man of God. That is stupid as hell. Understand? Because we're learning about money management. See, I would teach you things that will help you succeed in this world. Understand? Because I want y'all to succeed. I want you to be rich. Understand? Don't worry about me. I am going to be rich. Understand? Don't worry about me. I am going to be rich. I know how to teach this word of God, so I know I'm going to be rich. Understand? I can teach forever. I can teach a lot of things. So as long as I know how to teach this word of God, even though I don't do miracles, I can make money of just teaching this word of God. Understand? But I want y'all to be rich. Bro, I'll be back, man. If y'all like the sermon, man, like I said, send your Titan offering to, to catch up right there. After that was not African Elvis, then I pray for you. And like I told you, I'll send your oil. And I'm going to oil. I said, did y'all need the gospel? Did the God with us the main word, Church of Illuminati? Welcome and be blessed.